When a person buys a gun, what kinds of background checks are done to make sure that person is not a criminal or mentally unstable? The Brady Law, passed in the early 1990s, um, set a standard such that persons with felony convictions or orders of protection against them or um, somebody who is adjudicated mentally ill should not be able to purchase a gun legally. Um, this background check is done when a gun is purchased at a federally licensed gun dealer. Many states, however, have a loophole um, in such that when individuals buy a gun from a dealer that is, who is not a federally licensed dealer, no background check is required. Um, this is what we call the gun show loophole, and it's something that we're looking to close in every state um, because it leaves us open to an individual walking into a gun show, walking up to a table, looking at guns, uh, deciding they want to buy one, um, finding out that they will have to undergo a background check, and they can simply then walk to the next table and where a dealer is selling who um, is not federally licensed and they can just sell the person the gun and that would be a legal sale. So uh, closing the gun show loophole is critical to making sure that background checks are conducted um, wherever a person buys a gun. Now there are other instances where background checks are not conducted and that would be in the case of private sales, uh, person to person, in most states, um, a background check would not be conducted in, in that case at all.